YouTube today I'm doing my November wrap up so I managed to read four books in the month of November and a little bit so yeah I decided to do something a little bit different this month because I find that whenever I film wrap up videos by the time that the end of the month rolls around I forget half of like the information about the books so I decided to do something different and I sort of filmed as I was reading so let me know in the comments what you guys think of that I would love to hear maybe I should do that more in future I kind of really enjoyed it I feel like I actually got to talk about the books more than I usually do or like more accurately at least so I'm just about to head off to uni but I felt like I needed to talk about the books that I read I read them over three days the first one over two days the second one in one day literally oh my gosh Queen of Shadows and Empire of Storms oh my god my babies they were so good this one was so intense literally I read it in an entire day I put off everything that I had to do because I just needed to know what happened now I need the next one but yeah so if you don't know what these are by some miracle they are the fourth and fifth book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass they are freaking amazing I finished Court of Thorns and Ro no I finished Court of Mist and Fury last month so I obviously went on to the more of Sarah J Mass because I just needed more of her glorious fantasy in my life so I read both of these in three days all I can think about is like Faye and Terrison and oh my god and they were just so good so yes, I actually also got book mail yesterday. I got a copy of Heartless by Marissa Meyer and I'm dying to read this, literally. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't. So this is sort of a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, which I'm dying to read because Alice in Wonderland along with Beauty and the Beast are like my favorite Disney films. So I am dying to see how this one goes. Yeah, I bet you can guess what I'm gonna read next. What? No, no, this. <laughs> Also, can I just say, the Studio Ghibli jumper is my life. It has like Cat Bus and Totoro and loads of them and I love it. And yeah, bye. <laughs> hey guys, so please ignore this like whole weird lighting dodgy angle thing. Basically because I'm trying out this whole new way of doing sort of wrap ups. I couldn't be able to set up the tripod just to talk for like a minute or two. So I thought, basically I've balanced you on one of my bookshelves and then the other ones are here. So yes, I just finished reading, where's it gone? I finished reading Heartless by Marissa Meyer, which is so damn good. Oh my gosh. So I finished it yesterday actually, but I haven't had a chance to talk about it until today because I've been running around. But yeah, it was so good. So basically I went into this one knowing that it was to do with Alice in Wonderland, but it's actually a retelling of sort of the Queen of Hearts side sort of things, but before she was the Queen of Hearts. So it talks about like her childhood and who she was and she sort of starts out as like, you know, a really lovely, happy-go-lucky girl who she's like a baker and she loves to bake and there's a jester and there there's all these like crazy things that you get in Alice in Wonderland, like the Cheshire cats in it, which I thought was really cool and the white rabbit and stuff. And it's got all of these like really obscure things like, you know, playing croquet with um what's it called flamingos and hedgehogs which I thought was really cool so it's got all the like topsy turviness of the original Alice in Wonderland except Alice is nowhere to be seen she's like it's like she's probably not even born yet you know it's years before this before there's a queen of hearts and instead there is just this like a bumbling love struck idiot of a king and it's so interesting I've never read anything like it it's just it's so obscure because of like how Wonderland is although in this it's actually called hearts it isn't Wonderland there's like hearts and then there's chess they're kind of two places instead of Wonderland but yeah so you've got her living in hearts and there's all this sort of same craziness that you get from Alice in Wonderland but instead it's just the Queen of Hearts before she's the Queen and I love it. It's one of those books where it's just so topsy-turvy and odd. I keep describing it as topsy-turvy. I think that's like my new favourite thing to associate with this book. But yes, if you get the chance, it comes out, when's it come out? February 9th, 2017. So yeah, definitely get your hands on a copy of this because I've not even finished all the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, but this is definitely up there with Cinder and I've read Cinder and if you like Alice in Wonderland or if you love it like I do then you will not be disappointed. Once I realised that it was about the Red Queen instead of Alice in Alice in Wonderland I was a bit like hesitant because most of the retellings that I've read or like sort of variations of have been to do with Alice in some form or another whereas she's obviously not even in this but it's so good and I really loved it and I think I'm right in saying that it's a standalone it doesn't sort of 
seem like there would be more books to this series. Although I probably would not complain if she decided to write like 50 million more because I just love her writing so much. I need to get the rest of the Lunar Chronicles. This is what needs to happen. I only have the first book and that is not okay. So yes, Heartless by Marissa Meyer is pretty awesome. This lighting is not, this lighting is tragic, but it works for what I need it. So yeah. Also, on my last haul video, I think it was the October haul. I've still not even uploaded September and it's like mid-November, this is ridiculous. But yeah, I complained about not being able to find my copy of Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. Basically, you know I went through like all the totes in another video, like a tote bag video if you don't, if you didn't know that, then I filmed a video going through all the billion and one tote bags that I have because I have a stupid amount and since then I've literally accumulated more. But yeah, so this was in one of the tote bags and I didn't notice in the slightest. So yes. It's just slippery, slippery, ha! Slippery fish! Oh, oh, such bad jokes. But yeah, so I found it, so I'm pretty happy with that. I keep looking at like the view, not viewfinder, I keep looking at the the screen, the screen that shows me because it's such a weird angle and lighting. But yeah, the next book that I'm reading is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I am, how many pages am I into it? A grand total of 23. I like it so far. I mean, I've not really got much to go on, but I like it so far. It seems like an interesting concept. I also just bought The Diabolic by, uh, oh, I can't remember her name. I can't remember the author's name, but I just bought the Diabolic and I'm kind of dying to read it. So yeah, I went there to buy a copy of Glass Sword because I've read Red Queen and I wanted to get a copy of Glass Sword, but I wanted the one with the sprayed edges, which I didn't have, so I need to find that. So yeah, I bought a copy of the Diabolic instead, which I think I might read after this one. I also need to get Armada by Ernest Cline because... Is it a sequel? I don't think it's a sequel. I think somebody told me it wasn't a sequel. But yeah. I've rambled on for long enough with this awful lighting, so so see you when I finish Ready Player One. So after just filming that whole section with really, really dodgy lighting, I just figured out how to make it not yellow. So hopefully that won't happen again. I mean, it's still kind of yellow, but like, not as yellow. But yes, I thought I would show you guys my crazy pyjama trousers because I just bought them and you couldn't see it a minute ago because you only saw like the top half of me but I was wearing them and that's what you don't see when people booktube is they probably 90% of the time I know I do wear pyjama trousers but yes mine have Pokemon on Pokemon Pokemon but yes I have Pokemon pyjama trousers and I could not be happier these are like my new favorite things <laughs> See when I finish Ready Player One. Hello again. So ignore the whole like bedraggled look. It has been pouring with rain and super windy all day. But I read The Edge of Everything by Jeff Giles today. Giles, 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 Giles. I'm gonna say Giles. <laughs> so yeah, I read The Edge of Everything today. Even though I had started Player One, I kind of just really wanted to read this. There was so much hype around it, like if you open it up. Basically, I got this proof at MCM Expo, I'd like to add. But yeah, there is so much hype around it. Like you've got Peter Jackson who directed, what is it, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. You've got Cami Garcia, Cassandra Clare. Like you just have so many crazy people who have sort of blurbed this book and reviewed it and they all say it's really amazing and they all say it's really good and it's pitched saying um will be adored by fans of Becca Fitzpatrick, Lauren Kate and Maggie Seafarto who are like my three all-time favorite authors so I thought I'm bound to love this so yeah I actually finished this all in one day sort of over the course of two train journeys and I really enjoyed it I will say that it's very much one of those books where if you don't like insta love or you can't kind of look past it it'll probably annoy you a bit because there is a bit of insta-love in there. Like in Lauren Kate's Fallen, there is sort of that insta-love, although there's like a whole big story behind it. So yeah, I didn't actually have any idea what this was about when I went to read it. I literally just saw all the praise for it and just, it looked so intriguing, so I read it. But basically it follows a girl called Zoe who sort of encounters a guy called X who isn't really a human. So it doesn't really say what he is, but he comes from the lowlands, which is like a place 
place in the middle of the earth which is sort of like hell and he is a bounty hunter so basically he drags sort of evil people or people who deserve to be punished back to the lowlands but that means that they die so it is literally like hell and um then you've got Zoe who is just sort of her and her family she has like a younger brother with ADHD and then her mum and they've just suffered the loss of their dad slash husband so yeah and they just sort of come together are thrown together over the course of one night and just everything changes I think that it was really interesting and I did really enjoy it but I feel like maybe because of how much hype there is on this book and like in terms of all the reviews and stuff I feel like maybe it was a little overhyped for me and the insta love was a little bit like distracting because personally I'm not like a huge insta love kind of fan but I really liked it it's a really unique concept and I definitely love the characters and I think kind of forget that it is so very instant then it is a really really interesting story and I really liked it and I would definitely recommend it to people in February it comes out when does it come out February 9th 2017 so yes I did really enjoy this it was insta lovey but in a good way in a good way so yes and it also has this stunning stunning cover which now that I've read it it makes total sense as to why it sort of is this whole like snowy white with the fire and stuff so yes I'm not going to give away why it is that way but if you read it then you'll know and it's super cool but yeah it's definitely unique in that it's not the sort of typical alien or vampire or kind of stuff like that that you normally get so yes I think Jeff's kind of come up with his own interpretation of something being other. I really liked it, I really enjoyed it and I definitely, I think there might be a sequel to this. The way it's kind of left off I feel like there will be a sequel so I would definitely go to pick up the sequel. Next I'm actually going to get back onto reading Ready Player One because I went to read that first. I just got so distracted by shiny new books and this is actually like really shiny and soft and the pages are so soft. It's like a really weird thing to comment about but it just has super duper soft pages and I'm kind of in love with it. And this cover, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go read Ready Play One. So the four books that I managed to read in the month of November were Queen of Shadows and Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, and The Edge of Everything by Jeff Giles, and then that tiny little snippet of Ready Player One. So yeah, I totally plan on finishing Ready Player One in December, as well as starting on a whole bunch of other books because there is so much that I want to read at the moment. I really want to get to Roseblood by A.G. Howard. I got that book, and oh my gosh, I can't wait. Like literally, look how beautiful this book is. It's just, it's gorgeous so yeah I want to read that I also really want to read Wing Jones by Catherine Weber and then I also really want I keep forgetting to like move this it's just been there ever since I received it I really want to read and also do the drawing stuff on ink by Alice Broadway because this book just looks so cool so yes there are a lot of books that I really want to get to in the month of December and I feel like now that uni is sort of petering off for the year and there's not much else to do, which I am definitely loving because this has been a hella hectic year, that I should hopefully be able to get a lot more reading done as well as writing. So yes, I might attempt to do a TBR for December actually. I don't often do TBRs because I tend to just kind of pick up whatever I fancy reading. But yeah, I think I might do a TBR for December. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys read this month. I would love to hear. Did you read any of the same books as me? Are you looking forward to The Edge of Everything by Jeff Guile? Also, purple. Look, it's purple. I have purple in my hair. I'm kind of in love with it. I got it done today. It's kind of curly, which I'm not, like, a huge fan of, but I'm loving the purple and it feels so cool. So, yeah, hopefully I can cycle through, like, a few different other colours as well when this fades, but I do have like another pot of purple dye so that I can dye it when it fades to lilac, although lilac could be pretty pretty too. Pretty pretty? Pretty pretty. So yes, I make new videos several times a week, so subscribe if you want to find out when I post a new one, and I will see you next time guys. Bye!